So today we're talking about the K35 wireless microphone. Me, I'm kind of like a boom mic guy. I like being in one place, having control of my audio and my surroundings. But as of late, I had to have been going outside and I came across some, well, let's just call it issues. In comes the K35 wireless microphone. I've been using this for about two weeks now. And I got to tell you, um, it's, it's, it's good. It's not amazing, but it's actually pretty good. You actually get a pretty decent sound coming from it. So let's get straight to it. It holds about a five hour charge within the receiver and the actual uh, transmitter. And it takes about 1.5 hours to charge itself. Good for a variety of devices that you're not dedicated to like a single app with this thing. You can use this on your camera. You can use it on your personal uh, recorder and even your mobile device. So this, this has been actually really cool. Plug and play, like I said before, you get a clear timber sound. So you get really nice detail coming from it. Highly sensitive, very true. Uh, widely compatible, like I said before, camera, recorder, and phone. Precise radio. Okay, I guess that means no interference. And 20 meters of accessible reception. Yeah, 65 feet. Uh, it does go pretty long. All right, so let's get straight into it. Of course, you've got your microphone. Not your microphone. Your, uh, your instruction manuals for all cool things that you can do with it. Uh, just keep in mind, you cannot recharge this and use this at the same time, meaning you can't have your, your receiver plugged in and being charged at the same time. I learned the hard way, so take my word for it. All right, so here we go. We've got our, here is our receiver. Real simple, just plug it into a source like, like this recorder, like that, or into your camera, like that. See, really simple. As I said before, plug and play. And here is your lav mic itself with a clip right here. Yeah, with a clip so you can actually just clip it right there. Um, I'll tell you from my experiences uh, so far when using this, I did find that the little, if, if you look closely at the lav mic, the way it's designed, it's a bit front end heavy. So through my, through my test of using this, I always felt like I had to put it in a position where it was sitting and it wasn't always like falling forward like it is right here, right? Because it's just so kind of front heavy. Most of the time I ended up just having to just stick it inside my shirt and just going like that. It gives you a better look, but you know, it might work better with actually uh, split shirts. So you can just kind of go like that. Well, you can see how the weight of it, but it might work better with that, but just give you a, a heads up. And of course you got like a little windshield and of course the actual microphone, it's, Self. All right, so let's get to the actual transmitter. Well, I showed before. No, I think I already did that. All right, on the transmitter, you have your USB. This is where you can actually plug it to your smart device, like an iOS device, um, and you also charge it from there. And of course, you have your charging port right here for it too. All right, let's, ch let's check out the accessories. Okay, and also like within this video, we're gonna test out the microphone on all these devices and also give you um, a distance test as well along with the sound quality. All right, as far as the accessories that come with it, you do get a, a lightning cable to USB-C. So it works this way. We can actually nope, put in the receiver right here. And then of course you can just go and plug it into your smart device, just like that. So then you're all set up there. Uh, you have another uh, USB-C to USB-C cable. You can connect this like your Android device. Um, if that's what you wanna, if that's how you choose to connect it. And also you have a charging uh, USB-C uh, to USB A cable, and oh, and of course you've got this standard stereo 3.5 millimeter converter for it. They can plug right here. I'll be honest with you right now. I have found no use for actually for this converter right here. This one has the three prong uh, tips, uh, and every time I use this, I've gotten no kind of signal. I really haven't found how I can use this yet, but that's been my experience so far. I'm not saying that it doesn't have a use, it's just so far through my tests, I haven't found any use for it. Okay, well, with that being said, let's get straight to some sound tests. Our first test is going to be straight into this, uh, my personal recorder. I'm gonna turn this on. And I will turn both, I'll press record here, and let's, let's turn it on. I will say this, I wish the bottom part, I wish it rotate. It doesn't rotate at all. It just You're kind of stuck with that. So you're kind of always stuck with it, kind of like leaning like that. I wish I could just kind of, I could have maneuvered it in some kind of way, but that's what we're working with right now. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. That that, that looks that feels good. All right, so here we go. This is uh, your first uh, sound test of the K35 wireless microphone. Uh, like I said before, off the bat, it's a nice sounding microphone. It's not amazing, but it, you definitely get. I want, I want to say this, hashtag definitely usable audio for sure. You can bring this into in post and do whatever cleanup or tweaking that you need to kind of bring the audio where you want. But yeah, that's my experiences so far. The, uh, the wireless microphone, it comes with three settings, an amplifier mode, a camera mode, and then a sound card mode. Uh, from my experiences, they each have three different uses or differences. They're more of, kind of they're more of like a, I would say kind of like a, a volume level and a lot of you know, on camera microphones, you'll have plus 20, zero and minus 20. I found like those three settings kind of work that way, but it always defaults to the amplified version uh, in some cases because it's kind of different from, di from different devices. I hope I'm making sense. But right now we're in the standard amplified version and this is what it sounds like. If I press this button one once, we'll go to our camera version, which is supposed to be the setting that you'd use it for your camera. So I'll plug it in and then this is what it sounds like when it's a camera mode. For my test, there is no real difference. It still sounds good, but there's no difference. The difference comes in when I go straight to sound card mode. It actually cuts it probably, but I want to say probably like, I don't know, eight decibels, maybe 10 decibels. So I'll go down here and uh, the volume dramatically drops a lot. I don't know, maybe this can be useful when if you're actually in a loud environment and you don't want to pop, you'd probably want to go to that mode if you're if this was your setup. But if you're in a loud environment, then you probably want to go, no, if you're in a quiet environment, then maybe you'd want to go to the amplifier mode, which is by default. Um, you would think that the medium mode, the, the camera mode will be like something in the middle, but like I said before to my test, I really didn't see that. All right, so this is what it sounds like being connected to our Zoom recorder. Let's move to our smartphone and, I'll, and we'll go from there. All right, now this is what it sounds like being recorded on our iOS device. Uh, again, we can go through all the different settings, but through my previous tests, when it's connected to my iOS device, the different settings, the amplifier mode, the camera mode, and the, the sound card mode, it makes no difference at all. So I'm not really sure if when connecting it using this, it bypasses all of that. And it's just a regular default receiver, just kind of taking in the true signal that's coming in. But with that being said, it still sounds good. It still performs good. I've got had no issues from that as well. And what I like about this, since I'm not tethered to it, like I was before with other devices, um, I can still use this as uses for gathering notes or looking at my notes like I normally do. All right, so that's what it sounds like with the phone. Let's get straight to the camera. Now I'm gonna tell you this right now. This is my only, this is my only poo poo about this. For some reason, when I connect it to my camera, ugh, there's some kind of hiss or whine that's that's embedded in the signal. Um, yeah, I, I, I haven't been able to isolate it. I haven't been able to isolate it to know whether it's from the camera or the actual wireless microphone, but let's get straight with that test. Okay, and this is what it sounds like connected directly to the camera. Um, like I said before, previously, I got a little bit of whine, uh, a hiss that was very noticeable. Um, so it just led me to believe that, again, I'm not really sure if it's me or the camera, but it's something as of right now, I probably wouldn't be able to use until I was able to figure out what that problem was. But right now off the bat, yeah, that's kind of where I am right now. Okay, uh, let's get to our final test. We're gonna do a quick distance test using this recorder, uh, and then I'll give you my final thoughts after that. All right, so here's um, distance test of the actual uh, wireless microphone Go to the transmitter, which is right there in front of the camera. Um, it, like I said before, it goes up to about 65 feet. I'm probably about 35, 40 feet away from it. Um, I've gotten just a little bit longer. I've actually tested the, the 65 feet gone from here outside my house. Um, yeah, it does, but I'm not really sure why would you be so far from this. Overall, the sound holds up well. Uh, again, it's a nice signing, sounding microphone. And yeah, so this is your uh, distance test of the wireless microphone outside. I really like being outside, inside. All right, let's, uh, let's finish this up. All right, so overall, I gotta say I'm pleasantly surprised with the K35 wireless microphone. Like I said before, hashtag, I forgot what I said. This audio is definitely usable. You can tweak it any way you want and it's going to sound good. It's not amazing, but it's definitely, definitely usable. And definitely, you can definitely use this for content creation or whatever, uh, your, whatever your intent for this is too. I love the compactness. I love how I can, I can just put this anywhere. There's not a crazy system. This can be, this can be in my pocket. Use it with 
my 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 phone, like I said before, anything in recorder, I just like it. Uh, my only gripe so far, like I said before, is just the weight of the front of this actually, how it just kind of leans. Uh, so you may just want to kind of do this, talk to talk like this, or maybe have like a shirt where actually you can hold it properly, or maybe tuck it inside your shirt um, for that kind of experience. Anyway, uh, this is the K35 wireless microphone. Really helped this hope you. Really hoped this helped you out. As always, I'll leave links in the description down below so you can pick up your own K35 wireless microphone. Uh, please make sure to subscribe so you can, well, check out other future videos that are coming out. Hit that like button if you like what's going on here and also ding that notification well, so you can be notified as well. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care, bye.